I'm Dr. Lake Garner. I'm a dentist and an entrepreneur. I own 18 dental clinics. I own multiple properties. We're making deals every day. Now, I have a hell of a time managing all this with 18 practices, kids, employees everywhere. I can be a tough guy if I have to be, but there's a soft spot in there too. Some people think they know me, but they really don't. Somebody call the doctor. I am Dr. Lake Garner, and sometimes the tooth hurts. Well, it's another day at the office. You were such a big girl. We we're so proud of you for being so good. You're our best patient of the day. How's it going? How y'all doing? Okay. Nice to meet you. Hey, Thank Mr. Mall, how you doing? The best part of my day is spending time with my patients. Okay, I want to take a quick look here, real quick. Okay, big for me, share. Ooh, they may be under there pretty good. Okay, bye. Yeah. Okay. All right. So grab us an X-ray and then we'll uh, check her out. Okay. It'll be home drum for a few minutes and then bam, something comes out. We had a rude patient today. He was late to his appointment and he tried to blame it on us. Yes, I had an appointment at one. Okay, um, are you Mr. Green? Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay, so we're gonna try to like fit you in, so if I just... What do you mean by fit me in? Sure, just a little. Just a little late, not a lot late. Okay. So we can make this happen, right? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna wait in here. Okay. He was so extra that in my mind, I was like going off on him. Hey ma'am, did you let the doctors know that I'm here yet? Busy guy here. Get it together, get it together. Thank God, yes ma'am. Sir, he'll be right with you, okay? Uh, Just give us a couple of minutes, April okay? 17. I will. All right, thank Make you. It snappy. Hmm. Sometimes I hear about these crazy things that happen when I'm not there. So this guy come in today and he's stumbling and acting like kind of weird. And every time I try to take x-rays on him, like he's literally closing his mouth every second. I need you to open and just lift your chin up, okay? Okay. I'm patient with my patients, but you okay? Mm hmm This guy was making me lose my patience today. Bigger, please. You're closing on me, sir. You're closing. Oh. Oh, huh. <laughs> Once I was getting too frustrated, I handed it over to Myra and see if she could do it, and he was doing it even worse with her. Open. Ah, ah, ah. Open. <sighs> he bit me a couple of times, but we got the x-rays. All right. Let's go, buddy. You can follow me, all right? And then we try to get him up, and he fell on the floor. I didn't know if he was drunk, high, or what. When a patient's out of it, we got us in the home. Did y'all see that patient from earlier? Which yeah. one? Like he was closing his mouth when I was trying to take pictures? Yeah. I think that's him still outside. Y'all, look. I go out to check on him and he's like dead asleep. I tap him like, sir, are you okay? He's not answering me at all at this point. Sir! He reeks of alcohol, you guys. It was so stinky in there. We had to call the police. How you doing, sir? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel great. All How right. do you feel? Have you taken any type of drugs or consumed any alcohol? I've had like a drink or something. Do you have an ID? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Could you hold that for me? No, sir. You can just put it out right there. Yeah, just right here. Lean right. up on the car if you need to. How did you get here? Did you drive? I did, yeah. You drove here? Can you turn around here and talk to me? Turn around. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to 10, one being not drunk, 10 being severely drunk, where, where do you think you rate on that scale? Maybe like a three or a four. Okay. Maybe five. All right. Maybe if I have one more shot, I could make it a 10. Okay, well do me a favor, turn around and put your hands up on the car. All right, you're being placed under arrest for public what? intoxication, okay? You've been out oh. here apparently passed out or asleep in the car. We want to make sure you're all right, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. This is like a normal thing, I think, sometimes. We arrived and determined that he had too much alcohol to drink, and he was arrested for public intoxication. Come on back here with us. Drama, 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 drama everywhere. It's pretty typical to have public intoxication. Uh, we'll have several more tonight, most likely. At least we got a ride home, or somewhere at least. 
Thank God Dr. Garner didn't see that one. Police and everything, he would have been livid. Luckily, no one was injured, all the staff was safe, and all was well. So we've had some issues at Ellisville with the, the tooth, the inflatable tooth. Apparently some guys sleeping, talking, messing with it. Like, I guess he thinks it's his imaginary friend, but we're having some, yeah. Not exactly sure doing? what, I don't know. What's in the water? They saw him out there or what? Yeah, they've seen him quite a few times, actually. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we need to get him on camera. Oh my God, Mayra. This guy has been coming out here for weeks. You want me to? No, no, I don't trust you. Okay, I'm gonna get my camera. Oh my God, Mayra. Okay. <laughs> I literally cannot believe this is happening right now. I am petrified. What? What is going on? You're not a dental officer, you're a government agency. Oh my gosh, this guy is crazy. My tooth will take care of me. Sir, we're a dental practice. Get off the premises. I cannot wait to show Dr. Garmer this film that I got. This is my final warning. I'm calling the police. I'll be back for you. Coming up on the Tooth Hurts, a YouTube star almost gives me a heart attack, and family poker night gets a little crazy. <sighs> Tim is one of my good patients. When he's not in the office, he's always messing with people doing YouTube videos. Yo, Dr. G. What's up, man? How's my favorite doctor hey, doing? You know, we're doing some giveaways and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got like this tooth aching in the back. But hey, hey, before I talk about that, you said you were getting a Lambo, right? Dude, Pretty it soon. just came in. It just came just in? Just got it. Didn't you order it last June? Yeah, June. Eight months, man. Eight months. Took forever. Oh my gosh, Dr. G, you outdid yourself on this one. Look at the, the Lamborghini. Bad the... A, man. No way. Do you, I mean, would you, I'm, uh, oh, man. Hey, would you... get after it, man. No way. You're... You can, Serious? Yeah, man, we're both, you're gonna, man. You try it out. We're just gonna go around the block, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna be super careful with it. Be careful. I will, I okay. will, okay. All right. Oh, yo, dude, this is crazy. Tim is a good kid. I know he'll take care of it. I literally just drove the Lamborghini off the lot and I had this idea to prank Dr. G, okay? So I found this pole right here, I popped the hood open and I made it look like I crashed his brand new Lamborghini. Okay, here we go, here we go. <sighs> Dr. G, I, 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 please don't be mad, I messed up. Are you freaking kidding me? I just got the Lambo. I just, yeah, no, just, I just, you just gotta come over here. Please, doctor, I'm sorry, look, G, Dr. G, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, look, it's right there, it's it's right there. I, I just, doctor, I just, I didn't know how fast it went. I pushed on the gas too hard, and it just, it popped open. It just, I, I didn't know. Dude! <laughs> I thought I was about to have a heart attack. I was about to wait another year to get another Lambo. <laughs> you really think I would do that to your car? Dude. You really think that I would do that well, to your car? Well, you wouldn't mean to. <laughs> well, Dude, we, uh, I'm serious. Like, I'm like hyperventilating. Hey, uh, Doc, I'm still good for my, for my appointment tomorrow, right? So sometimes when everybody's getting together and we're kind of all hanging out and having fun, we like to get a little competition going and have a little poker game. And so, of course, I like to win. All right, I'll go to him. And make it two. Oh, the Tyler Scott song. Wow. Wait. All in? Yeah. Oh, um, these ain't got a These has thing. nothing. I win sometimes, sometimes I don't. But it's always a good, clean, you know, good, clean fun and good competition. And, you know, of course, I love to beat Tyler, you know. We have a good time. We get at it. Uh, we're both pretty type A in the sense of, competitions and just personality wise we really you know we've meshed well together but competition wise we have a good time there's always something going on Tyler ain't got anything he's out oh, <laughs> I enticed him in I enticed him talk in. a little mess I got you. Tyler what plan are you on <laughs>
My name's Anna Pasco. I am 21 years old. Lake is my uncle, but I am very close with Landon. She's pretty much like my sister. I'm Tara. I am a hairstylist and I'm Anna's mom. I'm also Lake Garner's sister. Me and Landon and my mom get along really well. We all mesh really well, but we also get into like bickerments, or is that a word? Bickerments? Yeah, I guess if she'd been on time, the flight would have been in her chair for 20 minutes. Right. Okay, well then, that's done. But Cancel I didn't even mess. know that. I love my mom. She's just, she's super dramatic. Mom said, I really don't have time for this <laughs> Bye. And she said, because you have all the class. Bye. I do. <laughs> now let's go get some drinks and play poker. <sighs> I don't know how to explain my mom. She's a lot. She's a lot. <laughs> I'm all in. What? Get in here, baby, and get you some of this. All in, all in. Here we go. Don't mess my clips up. Here we go. Ooh. All in. Nothing, nothing. You better what go. What you got? You don't got no pocket keys. Two keys, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them all in. Bring all the chips to daddy over here. All right. This thing is rigged. <laughs> my brother thinks he's going to win, but no. I got him on this one. He thinks he's the best at everything. I'm better at poker. What's going on? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We lost our savings account. Is that a street chair? <laughs> then my mom fell in the chair. <laughs> you busted your ass! I can't believe Tara fell on her butt. That's crazy. <laughs> Lake's gotta spot us. All right. Five? Alright. 500? 500? Yeah, he's good. Alright, let's go. Wait, hold up. I just want y'all to know I have no. You don't even know how to play? Uh, no, I've never played my life. Just put your money in and we'll take it. That's the kind of players I like. People like an easy beat. No, that was me that's going to be. I've never played ever. <laughs> I know my uncle likes really good at poker, but my mom's definitely got this. You Lady me check. a check. Lady check. A check. I get 500. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll throw my cards in. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Is Tara all in? Oh. I bet 500. Okay. You called 500. Uh-huh. All right, Anna's out. I've definitely never played poker before. <laughs> I'm terrible at poker. She's out. Lynn's out. I'm in. You're in. Okay, now do another card. I'm all in. Throw my I right. know you have a flush, though. Are you all in? I don't have a, I promise I don't have a flush. Oh, you're lying. My mom tends to be a tad dramatic. I'm going to call you. This is you call? Tyler, do you call? Aces and sevens. I got two pairs but I love her to death. I would do anything for her. I got you. I don't have a thing. <laughs> wow. My man over there. I'm sucking on the end. All right, good. Of course I was on the World Series of Poker. <laughs> this would be really good if you did a competitive game with the girls at corporate, but not poker, something like volleyball That's a good or idea. basketball. Like Landon really inspired me to maybe bring some competitive spirit to corporate. Me and you will talk about later. We'll do the corporate yeah. thing. We'll try to get it set up for the volleyball. <laughs> so I think we could have corporate versus my Hasbro clinic for a vacation day to really get them fired up and ready to go. Great idea. Now you guys have been really stressed. We're gonna have a company-wide volleyball game. Y'all are gonna love it. So true Garner fashion, he sprung us that volleyball game. Y'all gotta get a team together. I don't wanna hear any flaking out crap. Whoever wins gets a paid day vacation. Oh, okay. Does that make y'all feel a little better? We're we gonna go shirts and skins or <laughs> <laughs> wrap the team up, get us an opponent, Hattiesburg, Ellisville, somebody, and I gotta run an errand. So when I come back, have it ready to go. Wait, oh, what? Tom, wait. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, Hurricane Gordon oh, came and left. Oh, <laughs> good enough. Wow. Good. Not looking forward to that. I'm not the most athletic person in the world. Thank you for calling Gardner Dental. This is Wendy. Hey, you're on speaker. 
I hope you and your girls are ready to get beat by corporate. What? Uh, <laughs> what's Garner up to now? He literally just walked in and told us that we are playing volleyball today at lunch. So we've all got to go get shirts and stuff. Dr. Garner is very good at competition. He likes to throw it in anywhere that he can, and I'm used to it. So, you know, I'm going to try to do good to make him proud, and we'll see how it goes. And I definitely want that paid vacation day. Coming up on the Two Thirds. The corporate office and the Hattiesburg Clinic fight for their vacation day, but who's going to win? So we're here at my house, and we're about to start playing. So I have a court set up, got the volleyball net ready, and we're ready to play. Corporate called us today saying something about a volleyball day? I had plans for lunch today, but today is going down. It may have been a surprise, and I may not have been fully prepared, but it's on. Man, I can't wait to fresh corporate get my frustrations out. I'm ready. We're going to take them down. They're going down. The clinics are going to see who's boss and who really works, because that's us. We see them on the camera. We see them on the TVs. We know. We know what they're doing, playing on their phones, putting their lipstick on, you know, while we're working. Oh, we do dance around the clinic. Which they see at corporate. Supposedly they have pictures of me. Just her, not me. <laughs> Don't you know her? <laughs> it's all good, because we're going to beat them today. This may be one of my best ideas ever. Mm, actually, maybe been Landon's. I'm going to take the credit. I got blah, blah, blah on this side, corporate on one side, dental clicks on the other, blah, 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 blah. And now we're going to let them settle it on the court. Today is going down. I can't wait to crush corporate. Something about a volleyball game? And I think we're going to beat them. It's going down. rules here. Fight to the death. <laughs> okay, so we're going we're gonna to play to 15. Okay, you have to hit the ball up. You can't grab the ball. That's illegal. Wendy, whoever wins gets a paid vacation day. <laughs> Be perfect. I may not be athletic, but I'm tall, and I can hit that ball. There you go. I know we're going to win. Get over. Go. That would have been out. That would have been out. She hit it. It's absolutely not a fair game at all. Y'all have a smaller area than we do. But... I was confident that I was going to hit the ball, but I was kind of bad at it. No pressure. Yeah. Hit, hit it up. Good. It's a big ball. Oh. 13-8. Well, you don't ever give us any points. I'm questioning how the score was kept. Maybe there were some uh, discrepancies. That ain't a point. We were serving, goofball. No, not maybe. Definitely. Yes! 14! Game point! Game point! Been waiting for this day for a long time. All right, this is it. Game point. Get it up, Obi. What 
I tell you? We were gonna win anyway. They had no chance. <laughs> Hope is going down, baby. Woo! Take that! We won, we won, we won! <laughs> Best in the Woo! It's no fair. They have Dr. Garner on their team. He likes to win. Y'all got what you had coming. Legitimate. Dr. G, I'm waiting on my vacation. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Get it in, sister. Get it in, guys. I think everybody agreed we had a really good team building experience today. Yes. yes. All for one, one for all. That's right. So That's right. On three, go team. One, two, three. Go team! Okay. I would like to have a quick word of prayer. Dear Lord, Father in heaven, we want to worship you and give you the thanks for giving us such a wonderful life here in the great United States. We love to take this time. It was at that moment, saying that prayer, surrounded by my employees, I realized today wasn't just about competition. Today was about family and teamwork. We may be at each other's throats sometimes, but we all love each other. Amen. Amen. And in the end, friends and family is all we got. Till next week.